Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to create the walls. And in this video, I'll present you how to modify the walls. First, we can follow the process how to create the internal walls. In the following, internal walls of the entry level will be created. Before it, some settings are needed to make. First, please open the Options panel by clicking on the Customize icon in the title bar of the command window. Then, on the Displayed Options panel, please search for AEC Object Settings tab by stepping to the right and set on it the value of the auto snap radius per meter to 500 mm. Please make sure that the auto snap new wall justification lines and the auto snap grip edited justification lines are turned on. Then please press OK to close the option panel. Please remember that this setting is valid only for the current drawing. The mechanism will be searching for existing walls at the end of the new walls in 500 mm radius. And the new wall is automatically extended to that justification line baseline. It makes it significantly easier to respect the basic rules of the wall cleaning. The next step is to add the brick 090 brick 090 type wall from the walls palette. Before specifying the start point, please check again on the properties palette if the white parameter is 180 mm fixed value, the base height parameter value is 2700 mm and the justify parameter is set to center. If the OSNAP is turned on, as the start point you can specify the intersection of the external wall and the C grid line. As the end point you can specify the intersection of the facing wall and the C grid line and then please press enter. The next step is to modify the wall that you make a copy of the existing wall. First, please select the last inserted wall and start the copy style command from the contextual wall tab of the ribbon. As a result, the wall style properties panel opens at once. The name of the style is completed by a 2 number. And the new style is assigned to the originally selected wall. Please click in the name cell and type the new wall style Brick 100. At the same time, please delete the content of the description and keynote cells not to be confusing. After renaming, please turn to the Components tab. Then, go to the line of the Brick Veneer Structural signed to and then press the toggle of the Remove Components on the panel. The name of the remain component please correct to brick. Value of the white to 100 mm and the priority, the edge offset and the function column remain invariably 810, 0, non-structural. And finally, at the dimension column, please set the checkboxes. After closing the panel with OK, please discard the wall selection by pressing Escape. There is a simple and effective technique for editing vertical internal walls starting some distance from the existing wall. This is the object snap tracking technique. Next, please edit that wall which bounds 1000 mm wide stair from the right wall. 
please position its start point to the right place by using the object snap tracking technique. Make sure if the OSNAP and the OTREC toggles in the status bar are turned on. Now please select the last placed wall and click on the Add selected on the ribbon to place the other walls with the same properties. The command effect is the similar then you would have started the new wall placing, so it asked to position it. Please check if the value of the whites is 100 mm, the base height is 2700 mm, and the justify is center on the properties palette. If everything is right, please touch the internal corner point of the external walls with the center of the crosshair to see the square sign of the end point. Do not click the point, but pull gently the crosshair horizontally on inside of the wall to display the dashed line of the object snap tracking. A small X sign by the cursor and the prompt with the distance and the angle also display here. This indicates that the object snap tracking has started and got 180 degrees direction. Then let the mouse go and type the desired distance 1000 and press enter. As the start point of the wall, AutoCAD specifies the point horizontally 1000 mm far and you can drag the wall up with the center justification. But if you need 1000 mm clearance, you have to change the wall justification not to be justified to the center. The wall justification can be changed by pressing shift button during the current operation. Please press it till the wall justification changes to right. After it, please snap to the perpendicular and specify the other endpoints of the wall. Press enter to finish the wall drawing. Please note that during the operation, the wall justification can be changed on the properties palette. Using shift button is more comfortable because it is not necessary to leave the drawing area with the cursor. Finally, please press escape to discard the selection of horizontal wall. You can see the ready layout on autocadarchitectureblog.com website and you can find other wall creating and changing techniques in the published ebook which guides you step by step. Now you can save the drawing with the save command. Now you can see how to create the final layers of the elevation walls. Wall style used to elevation wall is a 190mm 6CMU wall. But 80 mm thermal insulation and 120 mm thick brick are desired to use on the external face of the wall, so you would like to use 3 layer wall. The next step is to change the external walls. So first you can create a new wall style by copying the existing one and you can set its parameters according to your demands. First you need some material definitions, which the drawing does not contain. From the walls palette of the tool palettes, please drag the CMU190 Rigid 038 R50 Brick 090 Furing wall style to the drawing area. Then. Please drag the tool to the drawing area, wait till the program loads the desired style to the drawing area and prompt to select the start points.
Then please press escape to stop the insertion. With this method the wall has the desired style in the drawing and there are material definitions used by this wall style. Please remember that the tools of the tool palettes can be used in two ways. The first is to click once on the tool and the other is only to drag it into the drawing area. Now please select the top external wall and make a right click. From the drop-up menu, please start the copy wall style and assign command. Please turn on the general tab of the wall style properties panel. It is seen that from the original wall style the command created a new version marked by 2 number. CMU1902. Please click in the name cell and override the name of the wall style. CMU1902 Rigid 080 Brick 120. At the same time, you can delete the content of the description and the keynote cells not to be annoying. After renaming, please turn on the Components tab Go to the CMU line marked 1 and press twice the Add Component toggle of the panel. The command effects that the component with CMU name and with the same data will be copied to 2 and 3 index components. Please rename the new 2 component to Rigid Insulation. Number of the priority to 600, the white value to 80 mm, the edge offset value to 0, and set to non structural in the function column. Finally, please set the checkboxes in the dimension column to this status. Then please override the name of the new component 3 to brick. Number of the priority to 810, the white value to 120 mm, the edge offset value to 80 mm, the function column is set to non-structural, and finally please set the checkboxes in the dimension column to this status. The next step is to click on the Materials tab of the panel and set the material of the rigid insulation to Thermal and Moisture Insulation Rigid Insulation and please set the material of the new brick layer for now to Standard. For retooling, please click on the Material Definition line of the component so it becomes a drop-down list and you can drop down the list and select from it the desired material. Please go to the end caps, opening end caps tab, where the original end cap style assigned to the original wall styles are seen. The end cap styles of the original wall cannot be used, so set for now all the opening end caps to standard style. Now please press OK to exit the Wall Style Properties panel. It is seen in the drawing area that the wall style of the top wall chosen for copying gets the new style. Please finish the selection by pressing Escape. Please make a left click to each and select all the external walls. You have to pay attention that the grips indicating selected status should be displayed on each wall. 
Now you can set the style parameters of the selected 5 pieces walls to CMU 190 rigid 080 brick 120. The selected walls adopt the layers, the materials, etc. of the new style. In the next series I show you how to insert doors and reposition within a wall. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, please buy the ebook, which guides you step by step.